Ho, 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 and happy holidays, everyone. Welcome to this week's edition of the Sabre Roar. I'm JJ. JJ, we just finished Halloween. Christmas isn't for another month. Welcome to our Thanksgiving edition of the Sabre Roar. I'm Val, and this week we get to meet our new superintendent, Dr. Miller, and Brad's Tiny Talks is back with how to prepare for a Thanksgiving holiday dinner. Aw, oh, heck. Well, first up, we have our last Halloween story. Student Senate hosted trick-or-treating for kids of the Franklin community. For the first time, Student Senate hosted Saber Spook Fest. The Saber Spook Fest is just an event, so all the elementary school students have a fun place where they can be safe and still get candy and dress up and go trick-or-treating. Kids up to 10 years old march along the hallways of FHS in their festive costumes, trick-or-treating. There was an array of games set up in the main commons hosted by school clubs. We're all here for softball and we were running the pumpkin station. We're here basically just to help the community and give kids a safe place to trick or treat, not out in the cold, it's really fun. With over 150 kids attending, Student Senate plans to make the Sabre Spook Fest an annual event. Count me in for next year. The Psychology Club had a hypnotizingly special guest visit one of their meetings. Hypnotherapist Paul Knight is very well known among FHS in the psychology department. He has visited time and time again demonstrating his talent and knowledge of hypnotism and the psychology club was happy to welcome him back once again. Mr. Bellum found me online many, many, many years ago, probably about 15 years ago, and I've been coming back here most years ever since. And that's just fun for me, it's making sure everybody actually has a good understanding of what hypnosis really is and what it's all about. His visit resonated well with the students and left them with an even greater knowledge of hypnotherapy and more. Hypnotherapy can help you gain confidence, improve your studying, and much more. If you're interested in seeing more of Paul Knight's work or possibly partaking in it, be on the lookout this April for when he returns to do a bigger show in the Sabre Center. The Franklin School District has seen many changes this year from the top down. After Superintendent Dr. Pat's departure last year, former HR Director Dr. Miller stepped into the job. Dr. Judy Miller has had quite an interesting journey to becoming the new district administrator. It was something I wanted to do, wasn't sure I would, and um, fortunately had the opportunity to do it, and I'm really glad about it. She has a 30-year track record at Franklin, where she started as a computer teacher at the old Ben Franklin, moved into administration as the principal of Robin Wood, and associate principal of the middle school before moving to the district office as HR director. She now occupies the corner office as the new district administrator. My job is really to help all of our schools. I work in, in many places, all places really. I should be visible in all, all of the schools. You should see me there. I try to interact with students when I can, when I'm in buildings, but my job is to, to help them be good leaders, whether that's the principals, the teachers, or even the students. She works every day to help people find their own strengths and cultivate new student leaders, teacher leaders, and strong administrators. I talk a lot about it being a better place to learn, a better place to work, and a better community. She hopes that this will strengthen the connection between students and their learning. We're very thankful for the opportunity to get to know Dr. Miller in her new role. Val, do you know what I'm thankful for? What, JJ? You. Aw, JJ. I'm thankful for me too. Let's find out what else FHS is thankful for. I'd like to thank Mr. Hein. Mr. Hein. Mr. Hein's Twitter account. I'm really thankful for all the Franklin High School students and the Saber Roar. And uh, mostly I'm thankful for our teachers who are just amazing, phenomenal people. And you should turn to them like right now and say thank you. I am thankful that an asteroid hasn't hit the Earth and that we haven't gone extinct. I'm just thankful for my apples, I mean... I'm thankful for the G Fuel that Sam Carson gives me in math class. And I'm thankful for all my volleyball girls. I'm thankful for Ashley Wesser, she keeps me grounded. I'm thankful for the Bucks and Giannis because he's the greatest player ever. I am thankful for my cat Milo and my other cat Ruby. I'm thankful for Fetus Nickerkins and Hair Banish. <laughs> I'm thankful for ice cream. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my girlfriend. I'm thankful that I'm no longer lost in the Sabre Woods, but unfortunately we still can't find that video equipment. I'm thankful for my loud family. I'm thankful for my cat Milo. 
I am thankful for both of my AP Music Theory classes who have been working really hard this year. They've been under a lot of stress and learning a lot of new material, and they've been doing it with a sense of humor um, and a great sense of camaraderie. I'm thankful for the job that I'm going to get by the time this airs. I'm thankful for my mom who has always been there for me. I'm thankful for uh, Franklin football. Uh, I'm thankful for my family and all the friends I have at Franklin High School. I'm thankful for Teddy because he gets me through both of my first hours. I'm thankful for Stefan. I'm thankful for my best friend for always being there for me. Hi there, I'm really thankful this week for a new niece that was born this past Sunday. My brother had a baby, uh, Vivian Jean, and so I get to see her this coming weekend in Minnesota. Hi, I'm thankful for caller ID to avoid certain family friends. I'm thankful for having food. Bryce Tone. Jacob Reindel. Hi, my name is Bria and I'm thankful for Barack Obama. Hi, I'm Jalen and I'm thankful for my best friend who's also my dog. Her name is Mila. Shout out to you, Mila. <laughs> I'm thankful for Surki being back in with Franklin. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm thankful for Mr. Kenya. I would like to thank William George Pantelio for always being right by my side uh, to make an office reference. Um, Y'all yeah, know what I'm thankful for. I'm most thankful for my homie down here. You know what I'm saying? We both flecking with rollies, you know what I'm saying? Hey! <laughs> I'm thankful for my brother, uh, school I go to, activities I'm involved in, my family. I'm thankful for my Nintendo Switch and my Doritos. I'm thankful for my exchange student, Monami. I'm thankful for Chalk Mool. I'd like to thank P. Watts. I'm thankful for all my friends and family. I'm very thankful to have a job here to be able to work with all these wonderful kids every day. We are thankful for Piwat! All that genuine kindness and gratitude melts my heart. I'm getting in the holiday spirit and looking forward to turkey, stuffing, and cranberry sauce. That's great. Here's Brad's Tiny Talks to help us make the perfect Thanksgiving dinner. Stuffing and all. Gobble gobble! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the second season of Brad's Tiny Talks, the show where I answer your questions. Today's question comes from Drew Houghton who asks, how do I make the perfect Thanksgiving dinner? Well Drew, good thing we hit the kitchen and whipped up a perfect meal for you to try this holiday season. <coughs> this is the most disgusting thing I've ever done in my life. What's up guys and welcome to the Saber Roar Thanksgiving Cooking Show of 2017. I'm your chef, Chef Brad. So the first thing we have on the menu is this mini turkey. The next thing we need is our tool. No, no, no! Remove all the jib giblets. Um, there's that thing, and that, and uh, that stuff. Oh, th this too. I think that's about it. So, next up, we're gonna mix up the spices. First up, we got some Cajun, some oregano leaves, some onion powder some onion powder, and some ground coriander seed. And you're gonna end that by mixing it all up and do a nice little blend. Now it's ready for our mini turkey. thing you're gonna do, take your mini turkey, get it in the pan, cover that up, and put it in the oven. <laughs> and the last thing you're gonna do is set your timer for an hour. We're gonna check up on that later. Next up, we're gonna be making some stuffing. So the first thing you're gonna need is some bread. Once you get your bread, you're gonna take it over here. 
All right, we're gonna let this sit. By the time we're done cooking here today, this should be all soaked up and the stuffing will be ready to eat. One of our last items we have, cranberry sauce. So we're just gonna... All right, that uh, looks pretty saucy to me, so we're gonna add our secondary ingredients, extra virgin olive oil, and a nice helping of sugar. And by the time we're done with this... <laughs> So first, you're gonna take your mashed potato mix, get it in a pan. Where's the chocolate milk? Next up, you're gonna add some half and half. Mmm, that looks really good. All right, and on this show, we like to add a little spice. So we're gonna add some of that Frank's Red Hot Wings. Mmm, <laughs> that looks delicious. All right, and here we have our final plated meal. Uh, I think it turned out pretty good. We got a lot of good stuff going on here, as you can see. Um, I hope that this advice can help you maybe with your Thanksgiving dinner, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time. Wow, that meal was delicious. If you want to have your questions answered, be sure to email breadstinytalks at gmail.com and maybe we'll have your question in the next episode. See you next time. Yum. I guess. Well, that's all we have for this week. Make sure to email Brad with questions for this year's upcoming BTT. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Saber Roar, and follow us on Twitter, at The Saber Roar. See you next week.